next we are going to look at some questions based on addition and subtraction of integers here are some word problems write down a pair of integers first part whose sum is minus 7 second part difference is minus 10 and the sum is 0 let's examine each of these conditions separately write down a pair of integers that means we have to think of two integers whose sum is minus 7 that means we have to think of two numbers integers and on adding the sum is minus 7 so which are those numbers which on adding will give us minus 7 now integers means it could be a positive number it could be a negative number so you could have an example like minus 3 added to minus 4 now what happens when we add minus 3 and minus 4 we know that minus 3 and minus 4 is going to give us minus 7 now this is not the only answer there are infinitely many possibilities where you could get minus 7 you could have a combination of minus 1 and minus 6 you could have a combination of minus 2 and minus 5 you could also have minus 7 and 0 because 0 itself is an integer so minus 7 plus 0 is giving you minus 7 that's also possible so you could write down examples like this i have showed here one example that minus 3 plus minus 4 is giving us minus 7 the second one we have to show an example a pair of integers where the difference is minus 10 now difference means when we subtract the two numbers we should get minus 10 so an example could be let's say the first number is 2 and when i subtract something let's say i am subtracting minus 8 then what happens here minus and minus becomes plus 2 plus 8 becomes 10 now the difference here is minus 10 we don't want positive 10 so you have to be very careful in putting the signs so i'll change this to plus and let's say now this becomes minus now i can change this to negative so i am getting minus 2 minus of 8 so i am subtracting minus 2 and 8 so if i take the two numbers as minus 2 and 8 then this is a negative number this is a positive number both are integers but when i subtract them minus 2 minus of 8 then what's going to happen we are going to get minus 10 if you take it the other way around as i did earlier if i take 8 and plus 2 then i am going to get positive 10 that will be marked as a wrong answer because it has to be giving us an answer of minus 10 so we will say the integers are minus 2 and 8 now these are not again the only answers there could be other answers to this question the sum is 0 now this is easy because we can take a negative number and a positive number which are equal in magnitude for example if you take minus 5 you can take plus 5 and when you add minus 5 and plus 5 we know that the answer is 0 we can take minus 2 and positive 2 that is also 0 minus 3 and positive 3 so addition of numbers which are equal in magnitude that means the numerical value is same but opposite in the symbol will always give you a total of 0 we are going to look at the next one write a pair of negative integers whose difference is 8 that means we have to find out two negative integers both are negatives and the difference is minus 8 that means we should have two numbers minus a and minus b and when i subtract this that means minus a minus of minus b the result should be 8 so this is actually minus a plus b is 8 so we have to now think of numbers in such a manner both of them should be number one integers and moreover they should be negative integers in the form of minus a minus b and when we subtract them they should give us positive 8 so let's say the first negative number we are choosing is minus 3 it could be any random number which comes to your mind it doesn't matter but the second number you should choose in such a manner that the difference is 8 so if i let's say choose minus 11 now minus 3 and minus 11 both are negative integers and when i subtract them will i get 8 i will get 8 because minus 3 minus of minus 11 i am subtracting the two integers this is integer number one this is integer number two i am subtracting both of them so what happens is this becomes minus 3 and there are two negatives here so minus and minus will become plus 
So minus 3 plus 11, we are going to get the result as 8. So we have found out two numbers. The two numbers are what? Minus 3 and minus 11. They are both integers. They are negative integers. And the difference of them, we have found out as positive 8. Similarly, we are going to try the next question. The next question says, write a negative and a positive integer. We have a negative integer and a positive integer whose difference is minus 3. So we have a question in which we have to find out a negative integer and we have to find out a positive integer such that the difference, difference means when I subtract, that answer should be minus 3. So we are looking at two numbers minus a and b and when I subtract, that is the difference, that is minus a minus b should give me minus 3. So we can take an example, let the first negative integer be minus 2 and b can be positive 1. We have to choose this in such a manner that this is a negative and this is positive and the numbers when we find out the difference should give you this answer. Is it giving that answer? It will because minus 2 minus 1. I am subtracting the first integer and the second integer. The first was negative, second is positive. Minus 2 minus 1, what are we getting? We are getting the required result that is minus 3. So we can say the negative number that we have found out is minus 2 and the positive integer that we have found out is positive 1. So as I said before, in all these type of questions, there are no fixed answers. There are infinitely many possibilities where you could get one negative and one positive integer and the difference is minus 3. This is only one of the solutions which is possible.